Hello friends and Funky Play Brothers, and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube. And today I'm reading Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem by Random House, chapter 9 of, well, 9 of 23? So, in, it's 23 minus 9. That's how many more weeks for this. You'll be able to hear the last 23 chapters. Now let's read chapter 9. What do we do, Donnie squeaked. What do we do? Mike, you remember the fire extinguisher that had smacked him in the back of the head? He spotted it on the floor under the table, stooping quick quickly. He grabbed the extinguisher, pulled its pin, and started spraying foam at the spreading flames. Whoosh! But then one of the thieves jumped into the car and started the engine. Vroom! He aimed at the headlights right at the turtles. Uh-oh, Mikey said. The car roared straight toward the brothers, but they leapt and spun out of the way. Donnie grabbed a pole and tossed it like a spear through the open driver's, driver's window. It jammed the steering wheel locking the car into a hard right turn. The car spun around and around in a circle in the middle of the shop floor. The turtles were stuck in the middle of the circle. He's going doing donuts around us, Donnie shouted, springing into action. Raph hopped onto the roof of the car, reaching into the open sunroof and popped the car into neutral. It spun to a stop, and the driver stumbled out dizzy from the, all the spins. Garning and clutching his head, he fell to the floor. I'm awesome, Raph said. I'm this Lee. Guys, look around, Donnie said. They saw they knocked all the thieves to the floor. The, their first battle was over, and the turtles had won. Woo! Raph, who whooped. Did you see that, Leo crowded? I totally helped, Mikey shouted joyfully. Suddenly, the chop shop, shop's garage door opened. Light, light poured in. The turtles whipped around to see who they would face. Hide, hide, Donnie whispered, remembering that they were really weren't supposed to let humans see them. The brothers scattered, ducking down behind cars. The girl they'd seen from the roof strode into the car, chop shop walking right past all the crooks on the floor and straight to her scooter. Wow, she said, grabbing its handlebars. My scooter's okay. That's good. Then she looked around, finally noticing all the defeated thieves. Whoa, this is crazy. She peered into the shadows where the turtles were hiding. Hey, I see you in there. Guys, I think she can see us, Mikey whispered. She can totally see us, Donnie whispered back. Come on out, the girl urged. Come on, I won't. Make a big deal about the ninja star. You got my scooter back, so we're square. The turtles stayed put. They'd never talked to a human before and hadn't their father warned them that humans were the demon scum on the earth. Leo leaned toward Donnie. You go out first, he whispered. You're the most inviting and friendly. The longer you lurk in the shadows, the girl told them, the more sus it gets. Every second, come out and say hi. I'm April O'Neil, by the way. She said, we're sus, Donnie whispered. That's not good. This is not good. Sus, right? Mikey said, um, what's sus? Like suspicious, Raph explained. Yeah, and now it's like doubtfully sus to be whispering about us, how sus <coughs> you are, April said. Freaking out. Leo tried to hold his brothers back, but Raph, Donnie, and Mikey stepped forward. What's up? Donnie said. Hey, Mikey and Shyly. April started at stared at the turtles. Whoa, are those your costumes? Your con your crime fire turtle costumes? Weird. Not sure I followed the thinking. She wrapped, ran up, and grabbed Leo's arm, and the sleeves totally... Real, what is that? Some kind of silicone? These costumes look really expensive. That's my skin, Leo explained. That's your skin, April said, slowly taking in this information. What in the universe are you guys? The turtles looked at each other, unsure what to say. We're 
to start their story and how far back should they go and would April believe them anyway? Mikey stepped forward. Can we explain this over some pizza? April thought it over. How do you guys feel about pepperoni? A little while later, the turtles April sat on a rooftop eating pizza together. After introducing themselves, the turtle all tried to explain their unusual origin, interrupting and speaking over each other. Finally, April held her hand up, gesturing for silence. Stop, 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 April said. Let me see if I've got this right. You, you were real turtles, but you got dipped in some mystery goo and got turned into mutant turtles men. Mutant turtle men? Turtle boys, actually, Mikey corrected her. I would say teens, Leo said, like cool teenagers. April wrote this information down in a notebook. Amazing. Tell me more. I want to know everything about you. Are there more of you? No, just us. Johnny said his mouth full of pizza. They are alone in this world. April said out loud as she wrote the words. She looked up from her notebook and nobody's ever asked her about this or talk to her about you about this. The turtles shook their head. Nope, no. You're the first one people should not talk about us. April smiled. She had a terrific idea. That's the end of chapter 9 of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Meet on the Ham. I don't know if this has anything to do with the movie yet, though. Well, I'll soon find out if when we watch the movie. Soon, chapter 10 will be read next week. So, friends, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow us on Twitter at the Funky Play Bros. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at the Funky Play Brothers. Support our vlog at Cash App at the Dollar Sign Funky Play Brothers. So, yeah, more unboxings, more taste tests, more adventures, more monies, and for support. Thanks for watching. Bye.